Hercules, starring Dwayne Johnson, opens this weekend. I'd wish The Rock well, but I'm still pissed he stole my nickname. That's right, my nickname is Johnson. <laughs> right now on the Will Wheaton Project, we're all gonna die, but one brave nerd with bitchin' tats just might save us all from a huge Comic-Con announcement. The Walking Dead, Sonequa Martin-Green, and Kevin Smith. Right on. Well, I'm just gonna go kill myself now. And now, the guy who knows his way around a Big Bang Theory, Will Wheaton. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, nerds and nerd-adjacent normals. Welcome to the Will Wheaton Project, where we cover the week in sci-fi, horror, and fantasy. Or as it is more commonly known, sci horfa <laughs> Face-Off returned to sci-fi this week, and this season, the eliminations have gotten pretty intense. <laughs> the show has also become very literal. <laughs> the Lottery premiered on Lifetime Sunday. Now, I thought it was an adaptation of Shirley Jackson's short story, but it turns out it is about what Lifetime believes to be the greatest fear of their audience, the inability to have children. <laughs> That's right, infertility has spread across the world, and the government is holding a lottery to determine who can carry clones to term. I have never seen a lead character more uninterested in the premise of the show that he is on. Therefore, by executive decree, I have declared a national lottery to determine the surrogate mothers to carry these embryos. Why a lottery? Because this country... It's a baby lottery. Principles of equal representation. Crazy. <laughs> I sort of feel like a hipster for this show because I was uninterested before he was. Crazy. <laughs> this week, AMC brought us Inside the Walking Dead, a special about Walker University, which is where they train people to play zombies, including this guy who is so ready for his close-up. Yeah, I mean, you got a good, you got a, you got a great luck. My name is Ben Bladen. I am here to be a zombie on The Walking Dead. Oh. The future star of The Walking Dead, ladies and gentlemen. He will be killed 37 times this year. No. Well, those last five years of decaying have really paid off. <laughs> and listen, if The Walking Dead doesn't work out for this guy, there's always Bill the Cat. <laughs> Kids, ask your parents. <laughs> America loves The Walking Dead. So here's one of the stars, Sonequa Martin-Green, with a special message for our zombie-crazed nation. And now, a moment of patriotism with Sonequa Martin-Green. Hi, I'm Sonequa Martin-Green. You may know me as Sasha from AMC's The Walking Dead. In fact, you definitely know me as Sasha from The Walking Dead because according to ratings, every single person in America watches The Walking Dead. Every single person. Except six of you. There are six people in this country who don't watch The Walking Dead. Hey, you six. Are you stupid? Have you seen what's going on outside? No one agrees on anything. Climate change, net neutrality, the Taco Bell waffle taco. You know who agrees on loving The Walking Dead? The insane clown posse and Charlie Rose, that's who. So congrats, the six of you, on erasing the last chance we had to make this great nation truly indivisible. <laughs> I'm just joking. You six unique individuals can do whatever you want. It's a free country. A free country that you are slowly destroying. That was a moment of patriotism with Sonequa Martin Green. You heard the woman. I want you to go buy a goddamn waffle taco. <laughs> Universal released the trailer for Ouija this week. The movie is based on the Milton Bradley toy that entertained us all at sleepovers for literally minutes of our childhood. <laughs> You're probably thinking that Hollywood has finally scraped the bottom of the nostalgia barrel. You are wrong. In a world where all of your favorite childhood themes are being turned into movies like Ouija, Transformers, G.I. Joe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Smurfs, Battleship, and the Lego movie comes 
Literally everything else from your childhood. The movie. Starring ALF. Dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. Street Sharks. The Bedazzler. Tamagotchi. Beanbag Chair. Donkey Lips from Salute Your Shorts. Cassette Tapes. Seawees. Hair Crimpers. Trapper Keepers. Light Bright. Worm Thing filled with water that slipped through your hands. Lisa Frank stickers. Will Wheaton. Furby. Teddy Ruxpin. Jim Mats. Ric Flair. Creepy Crawlers. Pens with six different colors. Magic 8-Ball. OG Read More. Weebles. Bop It. Lunchables. The RF Switch Box. And Floam. But we didn't stop at things. We got the rights to abstract childhood concepts like chicken pox, blowing into a game cartridge, and hiding your boner in class. The New York Times says, holy shit, gym mats, I totally remember those. And the Chicago Tribune says, I'm still hiding my boner. Literally everything else from your childhood, the movie. Give us money. I have one thing to say about that gross display of pandering. Where's the beef? <laughs> we'll be right back. Still to come, ready for a huge Comic-Con announcement? Will's got one, and Skeletor's back, and angrier than ever, when the Will Wheaton Project continues. Welcome back, everyone. It was an insane week for comic books. Thor is now a woman. Captain America is going to be black. And Archie Andrews was shot dead defending his gay friend. While Archie's death is tragic, the show must go on. So let's check in on the Archie series without the show's title character. Everything's Archie. Come on, let's go with the Archie show. This was really divisive in the writer's room this week as we found out who was on Team Betty and who was on Team Veronica. <laughs> Archie's funeral included a tasteful performance by Josie and the Pussycats. <laughs> as somebody who sent out over 48,000 tweets, at least 12 of which were not at midnight hashtag game replies. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag ruin a hashtag joke. I'm well aware that there's a lot of anger on Twitter. Now, some of these tweets are so over the top that I just had to bring them to a wider audience. But to be honest, I don't think that I have the proper amount of rage to do them justice. So recently, I had the universe's foremost authority on rage, Skeletor, read us some of the internet's angriest tweets. We loved him so much, we brought him back. Oh, Skeletor! I hate him! <laughs> I guess I set myself up for that. Did you bring us any good tweets this week? No, I came to have all of your insights on the Ouija movie. Of course I have tweets. First tweet, at Depierco tweets. Okay, we've got a female Thor and a black Captain America, but where the f*** is the Dominican Iron Man? <laughs> if you're referring to Iron Man well, last I heard, was being scouted by the Oakland A's. They say he's got a rocket arm. Hashtag sports. It is the last season of True Blood Skeletor. Emotions are high. How are the fans taking it? At Alex underscore Thomas 91 tweets, I'm pissed. My favorite character just died on True Blood. What the there's so much death on a vampire show! Hashtag watch my little pony! Hashtag Team Fluttershy! <laughs> Team Twilight Sparkle. This week on Dominion, Claire found out who her mom was. Any standout reactions to the big reveal? At Tootie Tweets Tweets, Eight Ball is Claire's mom, and that was the end of the episode! Hashtag Dominion for 
first things first. Can I use your <laughs> to reopen this sealed envelope? Get wrinkles out of my suit? Hashtag a million uses! <laughs> I feel like I should apologize, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Teen Wolf fans are pretty passionate online. Uh, what are they saying about season four? That's gonna be all right, Tweet. No, 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 estoy llorando, no puede pasar esto, Teen Wolf! So my Spanish is a little rusty. What does that mean? F you and f your show, Wheaton. I hope you die. <laughs> that, that's really what that translates into? Who said I was translating? <laughs> Skeletor, everybody! Later, Wheatons. I'm off like a progress. <laughs> we'll be right back. Coming up, we've got Kevin Smith, and Will makes a Comic-Con announcement you don't want to miss when the Will Wheaton Project continues. Welcome back. So former Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega is suing the makers of the video game Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for allegedly featuring his image without his consent. This comes on the heels of Lindsay Lohan suing Rockstar Games for allegedly using her likeness in Grand Theft Auto V. Well, it seems the floodgates are open, and now the makers of Pong are being sued by this gentleman. <laughs> wow, he looks really mad. <laughs> You know, it's not every day that one of Hollywood's biggest directors offers to give our viewers some professional filmmaking advice. But lucky for us, today is one of those days when it does. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Kevin Smith. And now, Kevin Smith's guide to making the perfect reaction video. Hello, I'm professional fanboy, internet loudmouth, and flight-challenged filmmaker Kevin Smith. And I'm here today to talk to you about something that's very near and dear to my heart. No, I'm not talking about fried chicken and whipped cream, man. I'm talking about opinions, damn it. We're living in a golden age of opinions and commentary thanks to the internet. And shitty acting. Oh, he's not that bad. Yes, he is. You're bad. What were they thinking? Oh, my God. Stop it up. That movie blew ass. Oh, the most juice. But sadly, some of the most important commentary this generation has to offer us is being absolutely ignored, just like every movie I've ever made, for the same reason. Shit poor production values. And Ari was right there, too. Yeah, and he was about to meet up with oh. us. Oh, absolutely horrible. Jersey girl bad, as we say around here, man. So I put together a few tips to make your rants and your reviews and your rave videos a little more watchable, man. A little more Damon, less Affleck. Let's check it out. <laughs> Tip one, lights, kids. Any lights will do, man, except the lights you use to find your car keys. If you plan on going to see Godzilla, don't go see it. You're going to waste your money. I promise I wasn't going to get mad, but goddamn, I'm just so disappointed, man. The previews look great. And the movie sucked! I agree with this guy. Godzilla is a huge piece of shit, man, but that's not what's interesting about this review. What's interesting is that he's sitting in a car in the middle of the night talking about Godzilla, not masturbating. <laughs> Tip two, rehearsal, man. Always try it before you buy it. Rehearse all you want. Just don't leave it in the clip and make me watch it. Hi, everybody. It's me, Sailor Moon. In it. <sighs> Hi, everyone. Sailor Moon and Sailor Mercury. I mean, Sailor Jupiter. You know what? I'm starting to suspect this guy is not a long-term Sailor Moon aficionado like myself. And if he doesn't stop it with this poserism, in the name of the moon, I will punish him. 
This is tip three. If you are gonna do Game of Thrones reaction videos, make sure you say something. Don't just reach your hand in your pants and go find the king of the north. No, oh, this was like. <laughs> You see the remote sitting right next to him? I do not want to be the next person that picks that up. And I won't be able to put it down. <laughs> the ever exciting tip four. Just be yourself, okay? And if you can't be yourself, well, try being me. Hi, I'm Kevin Smith. Why can't I be as thin as me? He's not me. Tip five. But at the end of the day, all that really matters, kids, is that you have an opinion and that you believe in that opinion, okay? And if you believe in your opinions, I will support anything you ever say on the internet. Tell me what you think about the Xbox One. No one cares about the connect. You can connect my dick to your mouth and then to mm, mm, mm. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Thanks for watching Kevin Smith's Guide to Making the Perfect Reaction Video. You sick, sick people. Remember those tips when you post your glowing reactions to Kevin Smith's new horror film, Tusk, when it hits theaters September 19th. We'll be right back. It's almost impossible to stay ahead of your family's dirty laundry. Hi, I'm Sonequa Martin-Green, and I don't always look like this. I play Sasha on The Walking Dead. And my dirty laundry makes the ketchup on your white shirt look like amateur hour. I need a stronger laundry detergent that cuts through dirt, blood, and pieces of dead friends. That's why I use Gets Dead Off. Gets Dead Off has 1,100 times the stain-fighting power of other laundry detergents. The ingredients in Gets Dead Off start to work immediately. Gets Dead Off fights until every last stain is gone. It can do that because it's not free of dyes and perfumes. In fact, it has all the dyes and perfumes. Don't let pesky stains send you to an early grave. Tell those pesky stains to f off with Gets Dead Off. Act now and Gets Dead Off will bring back one of your dead relatives free. Next, Will's got a Comic-Con announcement and it's huge. When the Will Wheaton Project continues. everybody. Comic-Con is literally hours away, and some of you are wondering if we will be there. Well... Can't get tickets for Comic-Con? No problem! This Tuesday, July 22nd, tune in to the Will Wheaton Project's Comic-Con Spectacular! We've got your all-access pass to the Wootstock Concert! The Secret Sci-Fi Channel Shindig! Plus appearances by Ian Siri, a Sharknado 2 World Exclusive! And much, much more! Next Tuesday, the Will Wheaton Project's Comic-Con Spectacular. Be there Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. In other words, yes. Everybody, it's time for shout-outs. Shout-out to this young man for failing to grasp the theory of displacement. <laughs> Worst truck exercise ever. A shout out to this talking condor from the kids show Walk in Asia for keeping it real. And here's a bag of sugar for you, flying thunder. I hope you can find something to use it with. Kim and Mila, I don't use a whole lot of sugar these days. I'm sweet enough as I am. <laughs> Just kidding. I use very little sugar because I don't want to get diabetes. <laughs> Featuring Fran Drescher as The Laugh. <laughs> On the next walk in Asia, Conrad the Tortoise deals with gout. <laughs> Shout out to these kids meeting the Incredibles Elastigirl for the first time. Make some noise for the one and only Elastigirl! Let's hear it for her, everybody! Girl power! Oh, oh. They are really going in some weird directions this year on Face Off. <laughs> and to all you Face Off viewers who are watching us for the first time, thank you for not being able to find the remote control. 
A big thanks to Kevin Smith and The Walking Dead, Sonequa Martin-Green, for sticking around even after they realized they were on our show. <laughs> a very important shout-out. It's within the family. Our own writer's assistant, Sergio, who we call Dr. Problems, proposed to his girlfriend this weekend. So, shout-out to Dr. and the future Mrs. Problems. <laughs> It was announced that Ghostbusters will be re-released in theaters this fall to celebrate the film's 30th anniversary. Now, as far as Ghostbuster 3 rumors go, Dan Aykroyd was tight-lipped. But if his body of work tells us anything, Aykroyd will be eating in the film. Which, believe it or not, leads us to this week's Supercut. Till next time, play more games! <laughs> They make those things out of us yet. Lips and assholes. <laughs>